In Unit 4 we decide the second function of management, namely organizing. In Lesson 1 we take a closer look at some of the characteristics of organizing, such as work specialization and the chain of command, which are insights that we gained from the evolution of management theory. We also consider philosophical approaches to organizing such as whether the organization should be centralized or decentralized. The focus of the lesson then shifts to the different types of organizational structures that are available, starting with a very basic functional structure and progressing all the way to the complex network and matrix structures that are in use today. Lastly, we consider the important role of the organization's structure in enabling the achievement of the organization's strategic goals. The idea is that structure follows strategy and so the organization needs to be very clear about what they need to achieve and how they are going to structure the organization in order to enable this. In lesson 2 we delve a little deeper into the idea that structure should follow strategy and play a supporting role in achieving the vision and strategic goals of the organization. At the start of this course we considered the importance of innovation in a fast-changing world and so it's no surprise that the structure the organization chooses should enable it to respond to innovation and deal with inevitable change. We start lesson 2 by considering the impact of disruptive innovation, and why it is important for the organization to be ambidextrous, meaning that it is equally good at absorbing new practices and ideas and operating in an efficient manner. Next we consider the three innovation strategies, exploration, cooperation and innovation roles and how each of these strategies can help the organization to develop new products or services and new technologies. We conclude the lesson by considering the process of organizational development and how the organization can unfreeze, change and refreeze the organization in a form that can deal with the challenges presented by the fast pace.